Hi everyone, I'm Sheila. I'm the Family and Child Life Specialist at Hospice Peterborough and I want to thank you for participating in our hike for hospice this week and supporting our programs and services. We're at one of my favorite spots to hike, Harold Town today, and today I'm going to share with you a children's book about grief and then an activity that you may want to do based on that book. So today I'm going to be sharing Rabbitiness by Joe Empsom. Rabbit liked doing rabbity things. Rabbit liked hopping. Rabbit liked jumping. Rabbit liked twirling his whiskers. Rabbit liked washing his ears. Rabbit liked burrowing and rabbit liked sleeping. Rabbit also liked doing unrabbity things. He liked painting and making music. This made Rabbit very happy. It made him so happy, all of the other rabbits caught his happiness. He filled the woods with color and music. One day, Rabbit disappeared. The other rabbits were very sad. They couldn't find him anywhere. The woods were quiet and gray. All that rabbit had left was a hole, a deep, dark hole. But down the deep, dark hole, rabbit had left them some gifts. There were lots of things to make color and music. In time, all the rabbits discovered they liked doing unrabbity things too. This made them think of rabbit, which made them happy. In fact, this made them so happy, they filled the woods with color and music once again. So this story reminds us that the memories and the special things about our person are things that can help us when we are grieving, when we're remembering them. And so we're gonna encourage you. Um, there are a couple of ways that you might do this art project. One is that when you're on your hike, you may find a stone that sets itself out from the rest that you might want to collect and take home with you. Or you, may want, you might want to find a stone ahead of your hike and decorate it and leave it at a special spot on your hike this year. So here's some examples of stones that have been decorated. You can use a Sharpie and write quotes. You can paint or use stickers to decorate a stone and this one's decorated with glue and glitter and um, a hot glue gun to make the, the letters. You may also just find a small pebble that you want to have and keep it in your pocket, the pocket of your coat or your pants and just hold on to it and remember the color that the person brought into your life and the happiness that they brought into your life. Thank you so much again for your support for our hype for hospice and take care.